Um, in the creed, um, in, in the creed, we say that Jesus descended into hell. In, in the Apostles' Creed, what exactly does that mean? It's a very important question because in the English, the word here is difficult because we usually think of it as the place of condemnation. That's not where Jesus went. He didn't go in to chat with Satan and his little cohorts. That's not what he wanted at all. So the problem here is the situation of the English correspondence to the words that, that would be used. The word in Hebrew, as you'll see on the bottom of the, the handout, is Sheol. The word in Greek would be Hades. The word in Latin would be Infernus. Literally, it means the netherworld or the abode of the dead. So it is not the hell of condemnation. It's not the place of Satan and his minions. But rather, this was the place where all of the souls went until the time of the resurrection. And so after the Lord rose from the dead, that place ceased to exist. It's oftentimes called limbo, uh, the, the limbo of the just and so on. But, but anyway, it's, uh, the, the, the Hebrew people would call it Sheol. You'll find that oftentimes in, in the Old Testament books. The Greeks would call it Hades. The Latins would call it Infernus. But it's the abode of the dead. It is the underworld. And so, so when, when our Lord, well, I'll talk about that in a second, we believe that after Jesus' death, his human soul separated from his human body. Remember, we talked about this last time, and we asked, what is death? The death is the separation of the soul from the body. It's all that it is, it's separation of the soul from the body. So. After the death of Jesus, his human soul separated from his human body, but remained united to his divine person. Okay, so in his human nature now, he had the ability to die. As God, he could not die. But because he took a human nature, now he could. So his human body and his human soul separated. His human soul remained united with the divinity. So the divine nature with his human soul entered into that place of the dead. So the three days in the tomb, what did he do? He went into this place, and his soul remained there, united with his divinity, until the resurrection. The purpose of that descent into the netherworld was to free the souls of the just that were in limbo by the application of the fruits of his redemption, that is, the communication of the beatific vision. And so he did not descend into hell in order to suffer, nor did he go there to convert unbelievers. Rather, those people at the moment of the resurrection were freed from that place, and they fell into the hell as we tend to think of it. They were condemned at that point. There was no conversion. What we have to understand is once your soul leaves your body, there is no changing of your mind. You cannot change your mind. You can only change your mind in this life while your soul is still in your body. Once the soul leaves, it's too late to change your mind. So Jesus goes down into that place of the netherworld. All the souls of both the just and the unjust are there. The just would be able to make their act of faith in Jesus. They believed that the Messiah was going to come. Now they could make that specific act of faith in who he was.